I'll start with um, a section in um, my book, Random Possession. It's the last section of a poem called The Field for Blue Corn. <clears throat> Please stay a little longer, at least until the garden is turned, our old whimsical siege on arid land, where I have seen snow peas and columbine, even though not inert growth. Extra effort to keep a flowering vine as it is, entropy, is locked into our memory since we'd naively assumed flowering was natural. A sprout against its seed coat is the first battle, after the one with air. All the seeds seem to fall near the enemy. If I have failed to grow herbs in a knot, as in English gardens, some motley hardy ones may take and buckle the topsoil with incompatible roots. Please stay. Help me pace out the field for blue corn. If a winter has seemed to pass as only our shadows on a rough wall, weren't they blank and rough as apple petals blown over and over each other to drift in heaps on the porches. That was about 20, 25 years ago. I'll skip to my, to empathy. Um, for many years, um, I would fly up to Alaska and uh, teach uh, poetry and their poetry in the school's program. And it was a period of um, compaction for me. And uh, I used the ice and the, the uh, density of the uh, Yupik people and what was happening in their transitions as a way to talk about uh, my own dense spirit. So um, this was a series of works that um, was a collaborative text for, with uh, dance and uh, it's a Lucknock breakup. And it's the second part of that. Anyone who is all right would not be coming in covered with fog. It is a pattern when it is moving. When it is moving, collisions of things that happen produce a wavering but recognizable image that merges into the ground when it is still. It is a black diamond that condenses you mentally as it collapses. It is a black diamond on the ground, and the diamond is moving. Then it disappears when you look at it, yourself having no coincidence. That was a wonderful reading. And I, I've, um, just for our conversation, I have almost kind of like constellations of questions rather than like one question leading to another. Um, as I sort of thought about your work and um, read through in sequence, the questions kind of came to me almost like interconnected ones. And I'd like to start out um, small, but um, again, sort of give you the chance to respond to any or all, or just to pick up on any one of these. Again, they're interrelated. But my first question was, uh, I thought it'd be interesting to talk about your working process. I know that at one point you used to take notes on three by five cards. And how did that process work? Was it a way to key into the essential moments of a poem? Did the cards enable you to leap from one insight to another? In arranging or rearranging the cards, could you, for instance, assemble and disassemble the linearity of a poem 
Did you take lots and lots of notes on the cards and then sift down to what was essential? Or did you work from small outward? Mm. Can you talk about how your uh, working process with notes is, is uh, how it works over time and if the process has changed for you? Certainly the new poems are really quite different. I feel like just saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I think that my working process is um, a pragmatic response to modern life, which is fragmented and fast and uh, doesn't allow the con contemplative uh, space that you would be ideal. So um, I, I, got, I got a method of reading. Um, I get an idea of what I want to work on, and then um, m I guess my process is a, a method of holding the whole, pro the whole situation in me while I'm living a, a normal, a regular life. And so I have the idea, then I do reading, and I, I read in a kind of a trance, um, so um, out of that a lo you know, lower consciousness or reading, I can underline things in the book. So I usually will take a, like a, f a French philosophy book and a Buddhist text and a, something like an environmental book, something like that. And, and then I, I put those in the computer and then I print them out and then I cut them up and, and uh, um, I put them on this great big table that according to like some kind of structure, and then I cut pictures up and I put them all over, so um, I don't have to keep it all. It's a way of, of working on a poem without having to keep it all in your mind. So, 